Hi, and welcome back to your autism game plan. I'm Joya Vanderlaan, a family nurse practitioner, a functional medicine specialist, and an autism mom. Today, we're going to talk about medications. Now, if you've been following me for a little while, you may understand that my first preference is usually not going to be to use a prescription medication to help a child with autism. I'm much more interested and motivated and passionate about finding the root causes of some of their symptoms and seeing if we can address those in order to make the child's life and symptoms better. However, there may come a time when medications are necessary to use and that's okay. Medications, especially once the right ones are found at the right doses, at the right time of the day, it can lead to a drastic improvement in the child's quality of life. And not only the child's quality of life, but also the family's quality of life. It can be hard not only for the child living with autism, but as you know, it can be really difficult for you and for the rest of the family as well. You're not a failure if you choose medications. It doesn't mean the child is going to be on medication for the rest of their life. It just means that this is what they need for now, to help them now. Now there's no medications to treat autism. Nothing is gonna cure autism. There's no medications that are gonna make autism go away. That's not the goal. The goal of using a medication to treat, to help an autistic child is to address symptoms, whether that's sleeplessness, meltdowns, anxiety, other mood disorders, irritability, um, sometimes even the ADHD type of symptoms. So remember, we're not trying to use a medication to cure our child. We're using medication, as with many of the supplements and other recommendations that I make, we're using these things to address symptoms, to lessen severity of symptoms. So medications can be useful and are necessary sometimes to use in our kids. You're not a failure. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes they're necessary. That's the big message I wanna convey in this video. What I thought might be most helpful to you in making a video on medications, instead of giving you a very lengthy lesson in pharmacology on each of these classes of medications and medications themselves, I thought it was gonna be more helpful to provide you with a chart, which we're gonna put, put in the notes below. The chart includes the classes of medications and then the names, both uh, generic and brand of each of the medications, and then a list of symptoms that they target, a list of side effects, possible side effects, and then a couple of notes, including what to look out for, like there are food dyes and gluten in some medications that we wanna watch out for. So have a look over that list. Now, you're not responsible for being 100% familiar with any of this. If and when you choose to address medication prescribing with your child, that will be in partnership with a prescriber. So it is not up to you to pick a medication off this list and say, well, this is what I think my child could benefit from. It will, of course, always be in partnership with a prescriber. So the, the rationale for giving you something like this is that, so that you can kind of start to think about it ahead of time and maybe read up on certain medications that you think may be ones that could be beneficial for your child so you can make an informed decision if and when that time comes where you're meeting with the prescriber and it comes time where maybe it is the best choice to prescribe your child a medication. If and when the time comes where it is necessary for your child to take a medication, that doesn't mean you have to stop the other things you've been doing, like diet and gut healing and all those other things. Even supplements can be used very safely in conjunction with medications. You just need to know a little bit more, maybe do a little bit more research into which medications can be used with which supplements. Generally, very, very safe, but there are a handful of medications and supplements that you may not want to combine. I want to take this opportunity also to remind you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our email newsletter. Lots of even more helpful information that you'll get once a week through the email newsletter. And you'll also be the first to find out about my course 
that I'll be releasing in the next couple of months. It'll be online, self-paced. Uh, there will be an opportunity for monthly Zoom meetings with me um, and as a group. So that'll be an opportunity to ask some questions and find other parents and caregivers who are going through the same thing as you are going through. That course will be released in the next couple of months. We're working really hard to get that out to you. It'll be self-paced online and it'll outline the essential five. I've, I'm calling them to let you know where do you start? If you're interested in this more sort of natural approach, maybe functional or biomedical approach, where do you start? It's so confusing. And so this course is going to give you that framework of where to start, where to go next, exactly how to do the things that are going to help your child the most. Thanks for joining me again today. And remember, be gentle with yourself. You're doing a great job.